My name is David Westerdahl and I'm one of the piano teachers here at Family Piano and today I'd like to talk to you about the music of the 1930s, 40s and 50s and some of the devices in the piano music that gave it its distinctive sound. I'm going to start out with a piece of music by George Gershwin called Mine. Uh, this was from one of his Broadway musicals and um, uh, the first thing I would like to mention is um, uh, the, the left hand pattern as we begin the piece um, uh, as, as uh, is a stride pattern and all that is is as your chords go through their changes you have They just they put the bass note in and it's what the players used to do in the 1930s is they would expand on that idea and they would take the the bass note down an octave so that would fill it out a little bit. Another thing they would do is instead of just playing a simple bass note. play that in tenths. So you'd have and sometimes they would break the tenths or roll them and instead of playing them like this, they'd have so they, and they also did it the other way. They did they did backward tenths. So uh, there are some of these devices in this piece of music that you will hear. Now when we get to the second time through, uh, there's a counter melody that basically th this is, uh, the, the main melody is Now there's a counter melody that is and the first time through the first the first time through they're playing the the uh, main melody the second time through we hear the counter melody and the third time through uh, what we hear is the counter melody played in the right hand with chords got your bass note with the left finger and you're playing the main melody with your thumb in the tenor range. So now I will attempt <laughs> to put all that together and play it for you.
next thing I would like to take a look at is a piece of music by Duke Ellington. Now this is uh, another jazz standard, but it's set up a little bit differently. In, instead, of, instead of your uh, uh, pattern of the stride that... Instead of that stride pattern, what they're doing is uh, we're, we're playing the melody in chords in the right hand and in the left hand we're just playing a bass note and instead of simply taking uh, we start with a D minor 7th chord and go into a G7 and so forth instead of uh, simply doing it like that The left hand is playing a pattern uh, to imitate the sound of having a bass player with you. So instead of we have and another thing. Uh, that, that you want to notice is we're swinging the beat instead instead of playing it uh, strictly in rhythm instead of them going we're going we're swinging the beat so and then when we get to the middle section or bridge we have a rhythmic break and we get away from that left hand pattern and we're playing the middle section in block chords. So now I will attempt to put all that together for you and play Duke Ellington's Satin Doll. Okay, now the next thing I would like to take a look at is a piece by a lady composer by the name of Dana Sweeze, and it's called My Silent Love. And what's interesting to me on this piece of music is that um, the main theme is introduced uh, just chordally with block chords. The 
second time we go through it, we have a variation on the stride pattern where we play the melody with the right hand in the tenor section and the left hand is crossing over playing the chords. <laughs> So, now, uh, without any further ado, uh, and I don't think there's anything else in here that needs any explanation, but this is a nice piece, so give it a listen. Now, uh, only one other thing I would like to say that uh, here at Family Piano, we have uh, a teacher that will be able to help you with whatever your interest is. If you like rock music, if you like big band music, if you like classical, whatever your interest is, there's someone here who can help you. Thank you very much. <laughs>